In Creo Parametric, you can perform a dynamics analysis on a double pendulum using the mechanism dynamics option. Let's take a look at how to do that. First, I am in standard assembly mode. Let me orient you to my assembly. So I've got five different components in here. And really, you only need two parts with two pin connections in order to simulate a double pendulum. But I created a base to use, and then I have a pin located in here as the axis about which the first pin connection will swing. And then we have another pin in here, which is with a pin connection. This one is actually unnecessary, but here we have our second pendulum arm. For performing a dynamics analysis, be sure that you assign a material to all these different components so that they will have a mass. And a double pendulum is really complicated in physics. It is really the definition of chaos. And just to show you why it's so complicated, let's jump over to MathCAD for a moment to take a look at some of the equations. So here I have a MathCAD worksheet in Prime 7.0. There are a number of variables involved with the double pendulum, including the lengths of each of the bars, the masses, and also the angle from the vertical. And so the equation for the angular acceleration, the first derivative of the angular velocity or the second derivative of the angular position, you can see that it is extremely complicated and it takes into account the different masses and also the lengths, but also the angular positions as well. You can see that the term theta appears in the equations and we can see that we have this special variable delta which is the difference between theta 2 and theta 1. So these are really complex differential equations and these are just for the angular acceleration. If you take a look at the equations for the positions of the components they're even more complicated and they are dependent on the initial conditions of your assembly. So let's use MDO in order to take a look at what the motion of a double pendulum would look like. So let's click on applications and then mechanism. In a previous video, I defined the gravity that I want to use in my model. Also, I created a couple of initial conditions because as I just mentioned, the initial conditions will end up determining what kind of motion that you get. And I already have one static analysis in here from a previous video that I did. Let's create a, another analysis. I will click on analyses in the mechanism tree and then click on the new icon. And here we have the dialog box. Let's change the type from position to dynamic. And then for the length and rate, I'm going to crank this up. Let's use a duration of 100, but let's also use a frame rate of 100. And that'll end up determining my minimum interval. I will not have any locked entities. And for the initial configuration, I can choose IC state and use one of my initial conditions. Let me just hit the eyeglasses. The current position was actually the same as my initial condition. And I'm not going to have any motors in here. For external loads, I want to enable gravity because gravity is all that is necessary in order to make this double mechanism run. Let me rotate slightly. Let's click the run button. All right, so that gives you a sense of the motion. Let's hit the stop button. And now let's make some changes to this. 
let's go to the preferences tab i'm going to cut down on the time let's take a look at 20 seconds and then let me start out from my vertical position for the initial configuration and let me reposition everything on here and now let's try running this one yes let's overwrite the previous results set All right, so there we have another run. Let's change to the current position. I'm just gonna click OK out of here for a moment, then use the drag icon to just grab this component and just start off with a slightly different initial configuration. Let's close out of there. Let's go to our analysis definition, edit definition, current position. This looks good. Let's click the run button. Yes, let's overwrite. And there you have it, the double pendulum, some neat stuff in here. And if you want to play around with this even more, you could try putting in some dampers or some springs in order to simulate the air resistance so this ends up slowing down. But again, just some neat stuff with the double pendulum. Give it a shot for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.